20 years ago we started our journey on sustainability. That started with the eFry building at the time that made the architectural journals where the front page was Elizabeth Fry, the most efficient building ever. Since then we've gone on to build Zeisser, another award-winning building, Termodec again. We then built MED 1 and 2, both Termodec buildings. The Thomas Paine Study Centre, another Termodec building and Julian Study Centre completes our suite of Termodec buildings. Um, Termodec, fantastic product, makes it very, very efficient. We use a domestic sized boiler to run a 2,000 square metre building. It's extraordinary. I guess what Do Different means to the projects office is it gives us a freedom to look for cutting edge technologies that aren't necessarily proven and tried and tested in a traditional sense. They may be used elsewhere. Building information modelling at its heart is a three-dimensional model, but it is a process. Traditionally, we would work in teams quite disparate. So the civil engineers would be doing some work, the architects would be doing some work, the mechanical and services engineers would be doing their piece of work. They would then come round the table and they would see if it all fitted. It was quite crude. In the BIM process, what they do is they work in independent environments, but they come together very regularly and they form a single model. It takes all the information from all the disciplines and puts it in a single model. And in that way, it allows these people to collaborate far closer, more regularly. You get less problems because of clash detection within this model. So you know that that pipe can go through that zone. There's no girders in the way, there's no beams, and it will work. So it gives a lot of confidence to, to the people of what they're doing. It allows them to work quicker, more efficiently, and it pulls teams together. So I think that, that is critical. So unlike uh, CAD, traditional CAD, we've got two-dimensional flat drawings. A line represents uh, a building footprint, let's say. Um, in three dimensions, in this data-centric environment, you can associate attributes to each of those lines. So I can add information to that that means that that wall is now made of block work made by X manufacturer, it has a life expectancy of X, its weight and composition and density is such, and if you want replacements for that particular block, you'll go to this place. In Chrome Court, we did use cross laminated timber, uncommon in the UK, but not uncommon elsewhere. So it will lock in thousands of tonnes of carbon. It's very, very quick to construct. The Chrome Court, uh, the entire structure over eight storeys, was built in 12 weeks. Phenomenally quick. And it arrives on site in, in huge packs and goes up like a like Lego almost. Um, and it's very quiet. The whole structure was put up by one team of men, one chap driving the crane, and uh, two or three chaps on the ground fixing those in, the panels in position. It's, it's frighteningly quick every contractor we now engage with loves the material. It's clean, it's green, it's quick and it's very safe. It has far less on-site activities. Um, it's got a lot going for it. The building reached over 80% in Bria. Very, very good building, extremely airtight. So that, again, that's down to detailing. We had PV array on the roof, as much PV as we could fit on the roof. There were plants and trees where we built the building and to give some of that back to the environment we built a green wall. From people that know about such things we're told it's one of the best in the country. Um, it certainly makes a statement and you can just see it as you drive around the road, uh, a glimpse of the university and it always catches my eye. It's quite a stunning thing. We harvest the grey water from the shower pods and they're all en suite bedrooms. We hold that in a tank, the water's clean via ultraviolet and filters and then reused in toilets should be a very efficient building in terms of its water usage. Uh, one of the, the nice features of the building is a panel within each of the kitchen units and this shows you data on your energy consumption and compares it with the energy consumption of the best performing flat in the building and the worst performing flat in the building. So you have an idea of what, how you're doing in terms of energy consumption. Shower. So for me that's that's kind of really good because I, I do care about 
bring energy and uh, uh, reuse uh, resources. Um, so at, uh, back at home, sometimes we also collect used water to flush the toilet. So that's consistent with my beliefs. So I really you know, strongly vote for that. We're not so used to um, common kitchens. And it's quite a new idea to us, but it's, it's absolutely amazing. And I always hear other people saying they really want to come to our kitchen to party yeah. or to um, bake cookies. Yeah. Just yesterday, uh, we cooked together, uh, the four of us, I think. Uh, after cooking together, chatting a bit, then we sat down, had our meal together, and had a bit of conversation going on. So that, that's really nice.